To make this lamp I will use these wooden hangers. First I pull hard the metallic hooks to take them apart. And now I pull the ends of the wooden rods to take them apart too. Sometimes the wooden rod leaves a small nail in the hangers, but I can use the pliers to remove it. Now all 15 wooden hangers are ready. I will use my circular saw cutting jig, so I will screw it to my workbench. Now after I have decided where to cut the hangers, I will cut them just a little to one side of the middle of the hanger. I screw some wooden blocks around it to keep the position. Like this I know all the pieces will be identical after I cut them. At least I hope so. I screw the runner to the jig. I put this wooden block under the runner just to keep it flat when I push on the circular saw. Now with this wooden ice cream stick and a little piece of plywood, I press the hanger so it won't move when I cut it, and I cut the hanger. Now I put the other part of the hanger in the jig, and I cut it, and I cut all the wooden hangers. Now on this piece of board I make one mark at each 12 degrees. First I have drawn a line and I have marked one point to set the protractor. Like this I can turn the protractor and set it on the line and in the mark. And now from the mark I made in the line to set the protractor, I draw one line to each mark I made at each 12 degrees. And I drill a guide hole right in the mark I made to set the protractor. I cut one piece some bigger than the circle I need. And now to cut the wooden circle I need, I use my circle cutting jig. It is 13 cm in diameter. And with the disc sander I sand the edge of the circle. Now I made this drilling jig with a piece of hanger and some marquetry. I can put it like this in the end of the hangers. And thanks to the marquetry pieces I know I always put it in the same position. With the vise I press the hanger and the jig together and I drill a hole in the end of the hanger. So I can put one dowel there. But first I drill all 30 pieces. Now this is the wooden circle with one line every 12 degrees and I will extend every line perpendicularly in the edge of the circle. Now with my vertical drill press table I drill one hole right in each line in the edge of the circle.
Now I have to drill a hole so I can install the valve socket. But the thread is too short, so I cannot screw it in the nut in the other side. So now I drill a bigger hole, but I just drill halfway. Now I can break this. And I use the chisel to clean the bottom of this circular rebate. So now I can put there the nut. I put it upside down. And like this I can screw the bulb socket from the other side. I sand the wooden disc. And I use very fine sandpaper to sand the hangers. I clean the dust. And I put all the pieces of this wooden lamp together. At first I thought I should begin gluing the dowels in the edge of the disc. But then I realized it is better to glue first the dowels in the end of the hangers. And then I glue them in the edge of the disc. I use the foam sanding block to protect the hangers, so I can hammer them to make sure the dowels fully enter in the holes. Now I have this thread rod, with one washer and one nut in the end of the rod. I pass the thread rod through the hole in the workbench. I put there the lamp. I put a piece of plywood, a washer and one nut. And I tighten the nut until the tip of all the hangers touch the workbench top. And now these toothpicks are helpful to straighten the hangers so they are vertical. One dowel broke, so I drill new holes and I glue another dowel. Now I put a lot of glue in the corner between the hangers and the wooden disc. When the glue is dry I get rid of the toothpicks. And I remove the thread rod. I varnish the lamp. And when the varnish is dry, I can install the bulb socket. This is the bulb socket I showed before. Now I found a new one. This one has a longer thread, so it doesn't need the circular rebate I made. The first hole would be enough. And it already has the cable. I put the bulb. And let's see how it looks. I think this is a really nice lamp. I have one video about how I made the doubling jig. And another video where I make another lamp from white wooden hangers. So coming soon. Thanks for watching this video.
Don't forget to like and to share it. You can find all my woodworking videos in my channel in YouTube. And thanks for subscribing to my channel.